So this question says in the linear function h, h of 28 is equal to 15, and h of 26 is equal to 22. Which equation defines h? I think the easiest way to solve this is to go directly to Desmos and to plug in answers, PIA. Okay. Which means we would try each answer choice, actually physically type this into our Desmos calculator, graph it, and then we would just test each of these points, right? We would test out to see, do we get the point 2815, which is what that's telling us, and do we get the point 2622, because that's what that is telling us. And we'll see that only one of these answer choices gives us both of those points on its graph. All right, so that'd be the most, I think that, that, that probably is the fastest, most efficient way to get there. What I'm going to show you is how to do it mathematically. So mathematically, I'd pay attention to the form, the structure of the answer choices, and I notice that they're all in slope-intercept form. So it's like a h of x equals mx plus b form, which means I want to solve for m and I want to solve for b. Solving for m is the first thing I should pay attention to here. The way that I solve for m is I find the difference in y values, divide that by the difference in x values from my two points that have been provided. So I'm going to call this x1 and y1. I'm going to call this x2 and y2. So now I'm just plugging those numbers in, right? So I'd have 22 minus 15 for y2 minus y1 divided by 26 minus 28, and that's for x2 minus x1. 22 minus 15 is 7. 26 minus 28 is negative 2, and there's my slope. So my slope is negative 7 halves, right? That's my m value. And even that is valuable in itself because I can go back to my answer choices and see that that means choice A and B are gone, right? Because only choices C and D actually have negative 7 halves for its m value. So next is this y-intercept. Is it 23 or is it 113? So I'm, again, going to go back to my structure here, and I'm going to say, well, as of now, I know that I have h of x equals negative 7 halves x plus b, but I'm going to go back and recycle, right? I'm going to reuse one of these points. Let's use this first x1, y1 point, because that shows me that I can replace h of x with 15, right? Because h of x and y are the same thing. I can also replace x with 28, right? And I'm just getting that from this ordered pair here. And then I'd have plus b. So I'd have an equation here with a single unknown, so I know that I can figure out the value of b. Let's go through it. I'm going to simplify this right-hand side, do some cross-canceling. Two goes into itself once. 2 goes into 28 14 times. So what I'm left with here is 15 is equal to what is 14 times 7? I think it's 98, but let's just make sure in my calculator. Oh, 68, 17. I'm sorry, 14 times 7. Make sure I'm not typing the wrong thing in. 14 times 7, 98, yes. So 15 equals negative 98 plus B. So to solve for B, I'd add... 98 to both sides. And what we would get here is that B is equal to 113, which means that choice D is the correct answer.